What is up, YouTube? It's Commander Nerd. Um, I wasn't planning on posting today, but I figured I'm out. I saw the My Hero Academia movie. Uh, so now let's look around what's at the mall and stuff. Um, the My Hero Academia movie was a lot of fun. Sadly, it was only me and two other people in the theater, but overall, I really enjoyed the movie. Uh, so we're going to head into FYE, see if they might have anything in there, but I kind of doubt it at this FYE, but let's see. So they do still have this Naruto steelbook. Um, granted, yeah, he does look weird on the cover, but I am kind of curious on it. I might hold on to this. I might pick it up. I don't know yet. Um, but... Later on, um, I haven't really shown off my collector's editions of uh, Sword Art Online, the Blu-rays that I have, so I'll probably show those off when I get back home and stuff like that. And just like that, we are out of FYE. Um, I did pick up a few things. Um, I did pick up that Naruto um, steelbook and a couple of t-shirts and stuff, so I'm um, going to head to New Bear Comics, see what they might have. And maybe Target. I haven't been to that Target in a little bit. Yeah, just like that. Nothing really in Target or Newberry Comics. So I'm probably going to head home. Um, so I'll show you off the stuff that I picked up and the uh, Blu ray sets that I mentioned. So uh, I will tune back in when I get home. Alright, I'm back home. So I'll show off uh, the stuff I picked up at FYE. Um, so one of the first things I grabbed was this Tokyo Ghoul shirt. Tokyo Ghoul is another favorite anime of mine. And I just really like the red and the white of this shirt. So I definitely had to snag that one. And because the main thing today was the My Hero Academia movie. So I had to pick up uh, this shirt. Uh, the League of Villains shirt. Which is... Pretty cool. I'm not big on white shirts, even though I'm wearing a white Critical Role shirt. But, uh, yeah. And then the next one, which, I mean, I've been debating on for a bit now. But I just couldn't really pass up on it this time. And I'm getting into collecting a little bit more of the anime steelbooks and stuff like that. Uh, sorry if you can hear a lot of panting. Uh, my dog just has a bone right now, so she's pretty excited. Um, and stuff like that. So the steelbook I picked up was the Naruto uh, Triple Feature Pack. Which, another deciding thing was... Like, it has... The clear slip which again is always a nice touch so there's the front and then the back and here's it open and actually the art on the inside is pretty cool too there's the disc art and then i'll pop that out yeah that's pretty fucking cool that there um but yeah um just snagged this yeah, Naruto's face looks weird, but I think that could be a thing with the slipcover, too. I could, like, no, it's just the sealbook itself. His face looks weird, but I couldn't pass up on it. Um, so the main thing I wanted to show off was the uh, Blu-ray sets that I have of uh, Sword Art Online. Um, they're the collector's edition uh, sets. I have seasons one to three as well as the um uh what's the movie called uh sword art online ordinal scale so i'll show off uh the box sets and stuff like that so of course the one that started it all uh season one of sword art online it's basically two main characters kirito and asana on the front and then the DVD art is really nice um, here's the first one and on the back there just, the art is really nice on these 
stuff like that. And it does come with the extra edition, which is um, a pretty nice feature um, for the season one set. And then another look at it and then the side there. And then season two with Gun Gale Online as well as um, the Caliber arc and the Mother's uh, Rosario arc. And then the back there with Asuna and Rosario. And then we'll show the art on the Blu-ray cases. And then these ones, which again is re a really nice touch. I do kind of like the kind of white style of them. Um, but yeah, I would. And then the next one, which is probably my second favorite. I will say it's my second favorite is the Ordinal Scale uh, movie set. It's just a really nice hard package. It's basically kind of like the Halloween 4Ks, the Scream Factory ones with the um, hard casing. And then here is the art on the Blu-ray on the back there. Just really nice. Um, I will preference these are really expensive. <laughs> um, I'm not going to say how much it was, but just if you go on um, Right Stuff, the anime shop, that is where you can find them, or the Antiplex website. Um, just be warned, they are very expensive. And then this is my personal favorite one, is the Alicization... Um, box set um i really love the art on it it's really nice um just the colors of it is just really nice and then um the art on the blu-ray sets that there and this one and back there. it's just really nice really happy to have these um, yeah, overall, um, I will preference, even with just getting the regular DVDs can be pretty expensive, especially because I don't think they're really mass producing the seasons one and two DVDs. Um, they can still be pretty expensive. Um, if you have Funimation or even Crunchyroll, um, you can get um, the seasons on there and stuff like that. Um, but other than that, thank you for tuning in to this, um, uh, out of the blue, uh, vlog slash show and tell, whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, yeah, other than that, thank you for tuning in. Um, not sure what my next upload will be. Um, but as always, I am Commander Nerd and I will catch you next time.